Hola, tudo bom? Welcome back to BSP, the basic Spanish and Portuguese channel. If you're new here, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell to get updated about our new videos. Just a little recap of what we discussed during our last video. If you haven't watched that video, check it out. I'll put the links down below. Okay, let's have a review. Remember, almost all nouns ending in A are feminine in gender, and almost all nouns ending in O are masculine in gender. So, camiseta, t-shirt, is feminine in gender because it ends in A. And cabelo, hair, is masculine in gender because it ends in O. Now, the best way to remember the gender of a noun is to remember its definite article, either a or o. A for feminine nouns and o for masculine nouns. Therefore, a camiseta, o rosto, o braço, a boca, a cabeça, o relógio. So, that's pretty simple, right? The majority of nouns ending in A are feminine, and the majority of nouns ending in O are masculine. But, what about the minority? These are the exceptions that doesn't follow the rule. So, you just have to memorize them. The following nouns are ending in O but are feminine in gender. A photo, the picture. A moto, the motorcycle. Among, the hand. A tribu. The tribe, all nouns ending in sound, s a h u o, and sound, c c g l i a h u o, that correspond to English nouns ending in s i o n and t i o n, although they end in o, they are feminine nouns. Examples are organização, the organization, atenção, the tension, ação, the action, a missão, the mission, a discussão. The discussion, a nação, the nation, a associação, the association, a colisão, the collision. The following nouns are ending in a, but are masculine in gender. These are usually words that are of Greek origin. O dia, the day. O problema, the problem. O tema, the theme. O telefonema, the telephone call. O dilema, the dilemma. O telegrama, the telegram. O sistema, the system. O grama, the grass. O lema, the motto. O poema, the poem. O clima, the climate. O samba, the samba, a Brazilian dance. O pijama, the pajama. O mapa, the map. O cinema, the movie theater. O planeta. The planet, o cometa, the comet, o alerta, the alert, o programa, the program. Nouns ending in stressed a are usually masculine. Examples are o sofá, the couch, o tamanduá, the anteater, o maracujá, the passion fruit, o chá, the tea. Nouns ending in a c h u that denote non-living objects are usually masculine in gender. Examples are o a m a n y a n g the tomorrow, o i m a n g the magnet, o g a l a n g the leading man. Exceptions are a l a n g the wool, a m a s u n g the apple, and a h u m a n g the pomegranate. So that's how you determine the gender of nouns ending in a and o. But what about nouns that end in other letters? How do you determine their gender? Here are some tips. Nouns ending in a g, a d e are feminine in gender. Examples are a c i d a d e the city, a m a l d a d e the wickedness, a i d a d e the age, a v u n t a d e the will, a b u n d a d e the goodness, a v e r d a d e the truth. Nouns ending in g e m, z h e n g are feminine. Examples are a v i a g i n g the trip. A g a r a g i n g the garage. A c o u r a g i n g the courage. A origin, the origin. A imaging, 
the image. Avantaging, the advantage. Nouns ending in tuji, T-U-D-E, are feminine. Examples are Avertuji, the virtue. Ajuventuji, the youth. Achituji, the attitude. Aplenetuji, the fullness. Altituji, the altitude. Alachituji, the latitude. Nouns ending in ITE that correspond to English nouns ending in TIS are feminine. These are usually names of diseases. Abronchici, the bronchitis. Asinusici, the sinusitis. Ahinichi, the rhinitis. Arthritis, the arthritis, etc. Nouns ending in down that correspond to English nouns ending in chud and ness are feminine. Examples are Asulidon, the solitude. Ahichidon, the rectitude. Apchidon, the aptitude. Avashidon, the vastness. Alenchidon, the slowness. Aizachidon, the exactness. Agrachidon, the gratefulness. But take note, the following words and in dong, what are masculine in gender. Operdon, the pardon. Walgudon, the cotton. Ugalardon, the prize. On our next video, we will have part 3 about this topic. If you have any questions, feel free to write them down below. So just continue watching. If you appreciate these lessons for free, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Até próxima vez! Tchau, pessoal!